welcome to the talk. I'm Lakshmi Karthanet, right here at Oman Daily Observer. Our guest today is none other than an expert from Royal Oman Police on road safety. And he is First Lieutenant Mundur Al Mazrui. Welcome to our program. Welcome, Lakshmi, and uh, hello to all of the audience who's watching right now. Uh, road safety has always been one of the biggest concerns mm -hmm. uh, for the Sultanate of Oman, mm -hmm. and especially coming from Royal Oman Police. Yes, of course. It's it used to be one of the most important concerns, but not anymore, because really? we are doing better than before. That's good and news. That's, uh, if you compare the test, uh, statistics with, uh, I mean, in 2013 and 2014, uh, the first half of this year, comparing with the previous years, we are doing better than before. Um, of <coughs> course, to reflect back on the year 2013, it was 913 fatalities, but obviously we're still in 2014, yeah. and we are doing better. We are doing better. I mean, in 2013, there was a drop by 21%, comparing with 2012, and we are doing the same thing now in the first half of uh, 2014. I mean, uh, we are doing better, and that's because people are, I mean, growing their uh, awareness about road safety. They are more concerned about their lives. Mm -hmm. It's not just the job of, I mean, ROB. Everybody is taking part of responsibility in mm -hmm. solving the problems, especially NGO. They mm -hmm. are doing a very good job okay. uh, in Muscat and outside Muscat. And also the other governmental establishment as well, all the wilayats, all the big cities and small cities in Oman are taking part of their responsibility. And this is one of the things that has been enlightened by His Majesty's speech mm -hmm. in 2010, where he addresses to all the nation to take part of their responsibility in solving the problem. And thanks God we are doing better. Mm. Much, much better than what we started off. Of course, <coughs> one other concern always has been the youth and the roads of Oman. Of course. The roads are beautiful. You would mm. want to drive fast and speed kills. Would you say that? Yeah, this is, is let's say, this is one of uh, <coughs> our problem. In 2012, we just was the third, uh, the third bitter walls all over the world. Mm. Oman has the third. The uh, roads. Yeah, the roads. Wow, okay. we, ha we are among the, th the best three uh, countries all over the world. And this is one of the issues that encourage people to overspeed, and because we have a very wide roads, uh, lighted, uh, I mean, smooth. Uh, we have also new cars in Oman, which is all of them are very fast. Mm. So this is encourage a road user to speed and overdrive. And but in ROB and in the government as well, uh, in general, we are trying to solve the problem by, I mean, uh, placing speed cameras. Uh, I mean by. Uh, placing uh, patrol stations over, or, or, I mean, patrol, uh, police patrol station all over the roads. I mean, to monitor all those who might, I mean, cause their life in danger and endanger others while they're driving the cars. Is the focal point <coughs> today, right now, during the Kharif season, the Salala roads? Salala roads has been developed. I mean, uh, everybody knows it's one of the oldest roads in Oman, mm -hmm. but it has been developed. Uh, recently mm -hmm. and it's re rebuilt again some part of them so this road I mean uh, ROB have uh, started let's say uh, 10 to 12 uh, police patrol stations on mm -hmm. uh, I mean uh, from Muscat uh, no starting from Adam to mm -hmm. Salala mm -hmm. and uh, these patrol stations are helping the road users mm -hmm. uh, and giving them help as well as I mean uh, stopping all those who might uh, not n uh, obligate to the rules mm -hmm. and break some of the rules by speeding or by uh, wrong overtakings which might uh, endanger their lives. Okay. Uh, comparing with the last year, uh, we are doing better in terms of using these roads. It's true that uh, we have some uh, catastrophe, I mean, during the eight mm -hmm. holiday, mm -hmm. but still we are better than before. Uh, our advice for everybody just uh, to drive slow. You are going for a trip. You are going to visit to enjoy your time over there. So if you have the roads or cut the roads in eight hours, it doesn't differ than you cut it in 10 hours. You are not going to do two, anything in two hours. Mm. I mean, you will just uh, enjoy your time, stop from a while, uh, enjoy the, the nice weather, the green and everywhere. I mean, try to make it even the road trip as a trip itself. That's that's a very good point, and you know, making the making sure that long journey is mm. going to be of really a pleasure trip. Yeah, it should be. I mean, 
uh, enjoy the talk with your family in the car, listen to the radio, <laughs> listen to your show. I mean, uh, there are lots of things that you can do while driving. Okay. It's not a matter of fasting. I mean, I mean not uh, speedy, driving, driving fast. fast. Just, I mean, driving slow and taking concern of all the environmental situation around you. Um, with speed and youth, mm -hmm. uh, do you think today the Oman Automobile Association could be an answer where they have a dedicated place for them to try out? It is one of the answers, but you know that uh, Oman is a very big country and it, uh, Oman Automobile Association is, uh, is not serving the whole Oman. It's mm -hmm. only Muscat Governorate mm -hmm. and uh, there is a plan to open new areas for all those guys all over the sultanates. Really? Yeah, there's some, it will be something in Al-Batna, Al-Sharqiyya as well, and uh, Al-Dahra, al Bremi, and Salala. So it, in this area they, they can, I mean, practice their uh, hobbies and <laughs> show off their skills as well. <laughs> I like the way he's described it. Practice your hobbies <coughs> and show off your skills. Mm. Um, when will this be happening? It is part of the plan. Uh, we, uh, Ministry of uh, Housing, uh, Ministry of Municipalities and Royal Oman Police have finished all the procedures mm -hmm. and now we are hoping it will be started within the next year inshallah. Very good. Yeah. On that exciting note we're going to say thank you very much Thanks, First Lieutenant <coughs> Mundar al Mazrui. thank you for being here with us and giving us your time. Thanks it's my pleasure and uh, I wish you all the best. I wish all the road users to be safe and remember to drive safely. Thank you. Thank you. So drive safe. I'm Lakshmi Karthanath with the whole team here at Oman Delib Observer. Thanking you for joining us. This has been The Talk.